two advantages. One is it gives investors access to a range of Bremen Hand managed uh, funds, uh, hence to a range of strategies or investment styles or geographies, rather than uh, investing in a single one of those funds, some of which are actually closed, so there's an advantage. The second is that all these funds are managed by one house with a consistent philosophy of, uh, of risk of management, and a consistent philosophy of style, of transparency, uh, and reporting. And it avoids the accumulation of performance fees that you get in uh, other multi-strategy funds where you are investing in the investment manager that you choose is putting you into funds of a variety of different houses. The about just under half the uh, global portfolio goes into the Bremen Hatch Master Fund, which has been established for a number of years now. There is then a, is a uh, an Asia fund. Uh, there is a commodities fund, there are two emerging markets fund, there is a systematic trading, there's a completely different trading model based uh, style, uh, and there is a credit catalysts fund, so a wide range uh, of completely different funds, so you've got a big diversification and if any one or two of those are going through a flat spot or maybe declining slightly, there's a greater likelihood that someone else is then performing um, above trend, so to speak. So that this produces not only rising uh, NAV, but doing so with a, a very low volatility. The first thing to ask is whether, as many in France, for example, are led to believe, hedge funds were uh, at the centre of the financial crisis. Uh, they have been at the centre of other financial crises, you know, as with long-term capital management, but I think an objective analysis will tell you that uh, they were not at the centre of this crisis, and that the attention to risk management in this sector has been superior to the risk management in the banking sector. Some of the controversy relates to areas that the Bremen Air Funds uh, are not in or not in to any significant degree, e.g. E equity markets, so uh, you don't find BH funds taking huge short positions uh, in uh, M&A issues. So a lot of the, the accusations that are made are either not, uh, not justified, or they even if are, they are, they're not relevant to Bremen Howard. The, the responses, I suppose, the alternative fund managers directive and uh, FATCA, both have raised some issues, but uh, neither create such problems for us that are required either a major restructuring of the fund or a major uh, relocation or major additions to costs, we are reasonably comfortable with where those two directives uh, or pieces of legislation where they now stand. The principal area of risk management is within Bremen Howard and they invest in a variety of funds but risk management is a centrally managed Function. So the positions across the whole organisation, whether it's in an emerging markets fund or other macro fund, uh, are all monitored together. There is a consistent view that you should, in making a trade, seek to find something which has a greater chance of failure than that, sorry, greater chance of success than failure. But if it fails, you have a view about point at which you would uh, cut your losses 
and, and move out. It's trying to correct two failures of, of market behavior. One is that people extrapolate what's going on. So something is rising, they're more likely to stay in it, rather than saying, it has risen, therefore it is less likely that it will repeat that. And most importantly, when something has gone down, the tendency to hang on and hope for something to, to turn up. You have to be quite ruthless and say, at such and such a point, it's uh, uncomfortable to liquidate this position, but that is the best thing to do. And if you avoid those two errors, you end up performing better than the average of uh, 